Hey, what's up? Today on Go Tech Geek, we are going to be looking at another quadcopter. Hey guys, so today we are going to be looking at this. This is the Robbing quadcopter. It's a Alpine Griffin 01. I guess it's the first Alpine Griffin. It's pretty cool. As you can see, this is pretty lightweight, fairly small actually. It is a ton of fun though. It's a good beginner quadcopter, a good beginner drone. It basically comes with everything you need to get going. If this is like your first quadcopter, then you can experiment with just about anything a quadcopter has to offer. Um, out of the box, it comes with blade guards, all the blades, the quadcopter, it comes with the remote control, a little teeny lightweight battery, it comes with a charger, and foam to protect the remote control buttons. Very important. So, this thing's pretty cool. You turn it on, it lights up. Oh yeah, this also comes with a video camera. Not a great video camera, but a video camera. So here are a few of my thoughts with this. Um, like I mentioned before, it, it's really good for trying out a quadcopter. It's not super expensive, so it's a, a good price range to, to get one, try it out, see if you like it, if you can learn how to drive it well enough to be comfortable with a quadcopter. I feel like in a no wind environment, it is pretty stable. One thing to keep in mind is because it is so lightweight, if you fly this outside on a windy day, you are going to have issues. Uh, I flew this outside, it wasn't too windy, maybe wind was 10 miles an hour or something, and it struggled to go forward just because the wind was pushing it back. So that's something to keep in mind with a really lightweight quadcopter like this. This quadcopter does have headless mode. That's kind of more an advanced mode that's fun to try out. And like I mentioned, it has a video camera. Uh, you cannot put an SD card in the video camera. You have to have a smartphone to use that. So you will turn on your smartphone and within the app, you can record video. Here's some footage that I got from this quadcopter. Wow, pretty impressive, eh? Okay, maybe not, but yeah, it's kind of a fun thing just to see where the quadcopter is going and seeing some video. The remote control is fairly easy to use. It has quite a bit of buttons, so you want to make sure that you read the instructions so you know what you're doing before you fly it. Otherwise, you might run into some problems. While it is fairly stable and fun to fly indoors, I don't necessarily recommend that you do. I still think this is best for flying outside on a non-windy day. Overall, like I mentioned, this is a pretty good quadcopter for the price. If you want to test out all the features of a quadcopter, this will have it. This is a lot of fun. Give it a shot. <laughs> 